Hello, beautiful souls. It's almost like it's channeling into the way he would probably try to describe the feelings or describe the experience. And I do keep getting the sense this is someone who isn't necessarily very interested in spiritual things. Again, I keep getting the thinking man. I just reshuffled the cards and got this card again, which to me always resembles a masculine very much in his head, his ego, his logic. And that is what's happening here. The masculine is trying to apply logic to why he was able to fall for you so quickly, to feel comfortable sharing deep personal things with you so quickly. But he's incapable of applying any semblance of logic to that. Here we once again have door to personal healing and happiness in the reverse position. Because this card has come out twice, I'm actually going to read a little bit from the guidebook here. This card reversed means you may be feeling stuck where your personal intentions are concerned. Self-mastery and discipline may be hard to achieve right now, or specific plans for personal change may be blocked. So, this is interesting. The guidebook also says, remember that your intentions need to be clear and unconflicted. Wow, I got this very strong message from my spirit guides that. And this is going to sound kind of strange, but it's almost as though the masculine here is being reprimanded by the guides that are protecting you, divine feminine, and protecting this connection. And they are giving him that exact message that came from the guidebook. They are saying, if you desire to move towards Divine Feminine, you are going to have to move towards her clear and unconflicted. Those words, clear and unconflicted, were the words standing out most strongly from the guidebook. And what I'm getting is this masculine actually, in the past, may have tried to approach you with muddy intentions, meaning conflicted intentions, part of him desiring to move this connection forward part of him being very afraid of what he was feeling and how quickly he was feeling it. So, it's almost like the guides put the brakes on this and said, if you desire to connect in the physical consistently with Divine Feminine, you're going to have to come forward in an unconflicted manner. Otherwise, she's going to be disconnected emotionally or physically for a time from your life. Now, what does this look like on your end, Divine Feminine? This most likely feels very conflicting to you as well. Because when your guides are intervening in this way, your guides speak to you through your emotions. So, what is going to be happening for you, Divine Feminine, is you are most likely feeling the same kind of hot and cold energy towards this masculine. Meaning, at times, you might feel like things are flowing, you're really engaged with the conversation, interested in connecting with him. Then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, you might suddenly feel uneasy about things. You might feel disinterested or want to pull away. Know that this is no accident. This is because your spirit guides are communicating to you through those feelings. From Divine Muscular Type yes, if you believe.